G'day there, Nick Bowditch here. Um, this time of the year, it's always kind of front of mind to think about the year that's just gone, as well as the year that's coming up, you know, uh, even broader, your life experience that's just finishing and the life experience that's just starting. Um, and there's something that came up over this weekend. This weekend, I've just done um, the reboot weekend right here in Terrigal, New South Wales, which was awesome, um, with, a, with a small group, which is my favorite way to do it. Um, some amazing, amazing breakthroughs and, uh, you know, realizations and, and really hard work done by, um, by the people who gave themselves to the process for two days, uh, which I'm really, really grateful for. It's such a, such an honor and such a privilege to, to witness this sort of work being done. And, um, yeah, I'm really stoked for that. One of the things that came out of it, which is applicable to what I'm talking about today is the process of, uh, planning, I guess, for, for the future. And, and, w and when I say the future, I think that is how everyone individually sort of sees it. The future for me is, is tomorrow or is to the end of this day, actually. Um, so, you know, I try to live very much one day at a time now. Um, but some people see the future as a five-year plan, as a 10-year thing for the rest of their life, whatever. I, whatever works for you, works for you. But something that the participants of the, the Reboot Weekend did um, this last weekend, go on, I think something which might be worth thinking about today for you guys too is the I want, I might, I will sort of exercise. So... I had the guys write down, um, you know, to, to be really mindful of what they wanted to be, where they wanted to go, um, things they wanted to have, uh, and and so on, and and sort of wrote down. And well, actually, we did it uh, diagrammatically as well. They could use some art uh, along these lines as well, which some of them did. But they were so were supposed to come up with something I want. So whether I want something or I want to something. Uh, and then the second one was, I might, so something I, I might achieve in the next little while, the next whatever. Again, that time frame determined by them. And then the third one, I will. And that's really the accountability one, which, you know, I would like them to find themselves accountable for achieving that over the next little while. I really support you to do this if you're interested, is just to spend five mindful minutes to be able to look at something you want to do or want to have, something you might do, and then something you definitely will do. And it might be tomorrow, it might be the end of the today, it might be a year, again, you come up with that time frame. but when there's that stuff written down, when you're actually writing it down, making it real, it really does make it real, and you are more likely to achieve something you, you want, something you might have, and something you definitely will do. I'd love you to um, drop me a, a message of those things if you like, if it helps keep you more accountable too. Uh, but otherwise, uh, this will be my last, I think, my last uh, little shout out for the, for the working year. So um, I want to thank everyone for their support and, and for watching my stuff, for engaging with my stuff in 2019. Um, it's been an interesting year and hopefully next year will be better still and I always think hopefully tomorrow will be better and, and we can work on that together as well. Um, have a great Christmas break wherever you are. If you're getting a break, if you're not getting a break, if you're one of these people who works in retail right up to the day and then the day after, um, try to make that as painless as possible for yourselves. Um, find some kindness, spend some of that kindness on yourself. Um, squeeze your little ones, eat some good food, have a good time. Thanks everyone for this year and I look forward to seeing you again soon. See ya.